it's your lovely abby dagrin and welcome back to my channel lovelies today i'll be continuing a series on my channel that deals with natal chart analysis and today i'll be doing one on travis kelsey i'll be speaking on his personality traits his characteristic traits based off of his natal chart and the placements i'll also speak on how a lot of his placements have led to a lot of the success he's endured so please stay tuned for the rest of my video lovelies if you have not yet become a part of, of the Abby Dagren family, then this is your calling to do so. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload videos on the daily. Please also make sure you hit that like button because I know you guys will love this video. And last but not least, please make sure you share this video with everyone you know, whether it's your friends, your family members, or your enemies, or anyone who really loves this content or really loves Travis. Now let's get right into the video. Travis Kelsey was born on October 5th, 1989, and this qualifies him to be a Libra. With this placement, he's someone who tends to concentrate on social interactions, and whether that is being communicated is objective, balanced, and fair. He's someone who's highly sociable and loves to talk to people. He's someone who just loves to be around people, and that's one of the best things that he has is sociable skills so he's able to speak to people and talk to people and just make connections with people he can be indecisive at times and sometimes making a choice can be difficult for him he's someone who is very positive very fair-minded and he's someone who loves to encounter and make the most of every encounter that he has with people and that's something that really benefits him and something that is great to his advantage especially working in the nfl up next would be his moon in sagittarius and with this placement he's someone who is normally positive even under very difficult and trying circumstances he's someone who's very cheerful and he loves to take on challenges head on He's someone who needs constant motivation in his life to e easily cower down everything that's going on. Honestly, with this placement, he's someone who's very much honest, very much optimistic. Makes sense because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, planet of optimism. He's someone who's very energetic. He has a good sense of humor. He's someone who's very much freedom loving and loves to do different things, love to have different adventures. He's someone who is very carefree. He's very open-minded and he's a go-getter. He's very friendly and talkative to everyone and that's something that is very much a great skill to have when dealing with people in different types of areas. Up next would be his Mercury in Virgo. This is a placement he has received because he has a Libra placement in the Sun or a Virgo placement or a Leo placement in the Sun. So these are the three types of Suns that would get this Mercury. Having Mercury in Virgo is great because it is ruled and exalted in Virgo. With this placement, they're the types of people who have analytical thoughts. So they always think five, six, seven, eight steps ahead. They have very much rational communication. They have very conformist reasoning. They might have a lot of good critical thinking skills and they are great listeners. They are great with details and sometimes they can be petty with their words. They have very much organized speaking and they know what to say, when to say it and how to say it and that just really benefits them in the best way possible. Up next would be his Venus in Scorpio. So with this placement, he's someone who is very much it can be a very hard placement because Venus is great in Taurus, Libra, and Pisces, and Scorpio is the opposite of Taurus, so this can be very difficult. They're very much profound, and they're attracted to someone like that. They're very private, very complicated, and very much intense that they can come across as fearless. They have a strong willingness to commit to a relationship. It's all or nothing for them. They find it difficult to forgive 
And they are the types of people who will give their partner their full attention and has the need sometimes to control their partner or the relationship. They want to know every detail about their partner, but sometimes they don't like revealing that about themselves. They can be very jealous at times, and but they are always committed. They're the types of people with Mars Libra, which can be difficult to be very jovial and fun. And having this placement, they're the types of people who avoid confrontation the most. They just want peace and harmony and nothing to come between that peace for them. So this is the opposite of Aries and Mars is ruled by Aries. So this is a very difficult placement to have at times. With this placement, they're the types of people who are very diplomatic. They love to have diplomacy. They love a sense of beauty. They're very fair and very balanced. And they strive for harmony in any way possible. They're very eloquent. Some of their weaknesses would be indecision, sacrifices, being unstable, being very vulnerable and very suggestive. Sometimes they can find it difficult to just make a decision because they want everyone else to be happy. So that's one thing that he would need to work on. Up next would be his Jupiter and Cancer which is very great place to have. Jupiter is great in Cancer, very great in Sagittarius and Pisces. So he's someone who's very good natured, very generous, very charitable, very truthful and loyal. He's someone who is very instinctive and is very great at attracting good luck and good fortune. He's someone who is going to have a lot of things happen and a lot of things open because of this placement because a lot of luck does come from this placement he's someone who is very much wants to be in a career that he enjoys especially if it has a lot to do with serving he's someone who has a lot of humor and optimism and that brings a lot of optimism in his life he's someone who just loves to do great things for people and just take care of people up next would be his lovely Saturn in Capricorn, and this is another great placement to have. It can be a very trying placement, it can be very difficult, but they tend to be very ambitious and will do their best to make it to the top of their field regardless of what happens. They are ruled by Capricorn, so Saturn is ruled by Capricorn, great placement in Aquarius and Libra. So these is a very learning place and a very trying placement. Learning patience and having patience is something that is going to come a lot with this placement. Also learning how to be responsible and carrying on responsibility is something that will benefit you a lot as well with this placement. Um, just know that with time things will get better and that the lessons that you've learned in life will really benefit you in the future. So even though this placement can be hard now, in the future it will get better and you can do it. Up next would be his Uranus in Capricorn. And with this placement, he's someone who's all about planning for the future as much as possible. And this makes him an automatic innovator or anyone with this placement. They are great at knowing what they need for the future and what will really help and benefit them to get that future. Also with this placement, they're the types of people who are great at practical solutions and seeking them out to a changing society's attitude to customs, traditions, and authority structures. They're very logical and orderly in regards to the way of dealing with things that matters will result in permanent and carefully planned but sweeping reform. So they're part of a generation that loves to do things that people can all benefit from but it would happen in a permanent manner and the changes that come would really take force in society and will really help dealing with a lot of issues that come around. Up next would be his Neptune in Capricorn and with this placement this makes him have a Capricorn stellium so he has three or more placements in a sign so with this placement he tends to increase his power, wealth, and influence, and he focuses on ways to do that. With this placement, he's also someone who's going to 
idealize his job, being very practical and have the ability to attain reasonable goals. He's someone who likes to stress the need of being selfless and giving. And at times because of this, it makes it very hard and difficult for him to really attain his goals unless he feels he's lowered his expectations on all fronts, which can be hard and difficult for him because he's someone who would need to lower that and people with this place would need to know that yes you can be nice and kind but you don't have to lower your standards and you just deserve everything great in life up next would be his pluto and scorpio and with this placement this is actually a great placement to have because pluto is ruled by scorpio so he was born between 1984 and 1995 this makes him a millennial he's all about facing what's scary things that are very intense He's all about making collective issues conscious. Um, he's all about revolutions, about collective movements, doing things that will really benefit the generations after him. He's someone who's always looking deeper into any situation to discover what's really going on behind the scenes. So he knows that what's being presented in front of him is not all the information that is there. He's someone who is all about intense research, discovery in areas that would be considered as mysterious or remote or something that people would not do. And he's all about looking at different things from a different perspective or deeper perspective. Up next would be his North Node in Aquarius. And with this place when he would need to develop these attributes in order for him to get these uncovered hidden gifts and talents so one is being objective seeing the total picture desire for friendship making decisions for a group's best interests willingness to share unconventional ideas willingness to champion humanitarian causes active participation in groups awareness of equality relating to others as individuals apart from their specific roles, creating win-win situations, recognizing how others are special, being unusual, learning the way of the inventor, creating and connecting to all different types of friendships, learning to open up their hearts and build fulfilling relationship with those around him, learning to share his emotions with others and focusing on energies that make him unique. Last but not least is his Chiron in Cancer. So with this placement, he's someone who has the wound of self-love and nourishment. With this placement, someone more than likely might have gone under neglect or abuse in early age. He's all about influencing them. And this can influence him to be insecure, emotional, and needy. He's someone who may like to attach or latch himself onto someone very closely. And any type of loving care that he can get, he will get it. And this could end up him manipulating others or them manipulating him and getting a reaction out of them that he feels like other people should care. So in this placement, they will need to learn how to have a lot of self-love for themselves and realizing that when people do show love, that they should not take it for granted and just really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today on Travis. Please let me know down below how you felt about it. Did you get a better understanding as to who he is as a person? Please also let me know down below who else you guys would want me to do a natal chart analysis on. And please make sure you are subscribed to the channel and that you've hit that notification bell. Also, please make sure you hit that like button and that share button so you can support the channel and share this information with more people. Last but not least, please make sure you are following me on all of my social media accounts from my Facebook to my podcast under Abby Dagren, my SC store to my Instagram under Gaio Beauty, and my PayPal that is linked down below. I love you all. Please stay safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye lovelies.